I boosted around, Nick Munner. Oh, tow truck, G. There's something wrong with the brakes. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So, uh, continuing from where we left off last time, we are here at Custom Coatings in Albany, at Grant's place, and we have most of the new parts of the Sylvia ready to be painted. Grant's actually already started primering some of these, and I haven't shown you guys the wing and the other stuff that I ordered, but we've got our bumper here that we just got from Tauranga. Uh, just brought this here to Grant today, and I had these shipped to him last week, and he's already primed them for us. So, after... I saw out the Sylvia this weekend, he'll be able to test fit all these. But we've got a 326 wing, so big old wing to go on the back of the car. And then we've also got a little uh, roof wing here for the back of the roof. So along with this pretty aggressive rear bumper, it's gonna make the whole car look way more aggressive. And it's a lot more streamlined and just less sort of boxy. I don't really like the, the boxy with the soft edges. Look, I want the really aggressive you know, sort of like drift spec look um, for this car. We're also getting some over fenders ordered soon. I'm trying to source some. If anyone knows where to get some Origin over fenders in New Zealand that doesn't take like six months to order, please get in touch. I uh, don't mind if it costs more than, uh, you know, ordering them online because it's gonna be ages to get some into the country. But yeah, super excited to get these painted. We've got a, a pretty big day today. I just got a bunch of jobs to do around the city and then this afternoon I'm gonna go pick up the Sylvia from Auto Stance where it has got all the new tires, we got AR1s all around, uh, we got new tie rod connectors and we also found out that the brakes were seized pretty much completely so yeah while I was driving around, uh, I think I said that in the last video, but um, we fixed the brakes as well so we got new rotors and pads and yeah we're good to go so the Sylvia is gonna be back in our hands very soon. After I go pick it up from Auto Sound this afternoon, I need to go and do my motorsport exam, which I've been studying for. So basically I need to get an M grade license, which means that I can basically drive a race car on the street. Uh, means that I have a certification card, that basically that just lets me drive my race car on the street. And means that I can get a WAF, because I cannot get a WAF without one, which I did not know until I went to get a WAF the other day, um, after we got the tires and everything sorted. So, yeah, big day today, but uh, it's gonna be really fun. If I pass this exam and everything this afternoon, I'm gonna be super stoked, and we should have the car back in the next few days. Three hours later. All right, so it's now about 2 p.m. We just made it here to Auto Stance, and I'm packing up the Sylvia to go to the motorsport exam inspection and whatnot. So I'll show you guys around the car real quick. We got these beautiful Nanking AR1s all around. So these are a uh, semi-slick, and I've already test driven the car with them on and they are so, so grippy. They're really, really good. But if you still want to step it out and get it sideways, it's pretty easy, uh, even in like second or third gear. Uh, we did some we did some private testing. Anyway, uh, we also got the new brakes and everything, so it brakes really well. And we had the new tie rod connectors as well because they were pretty bent. So it's driving really well. The only thing is that the tune is absolutely fucked. So on Monday, we've got a Haltech ECU and uh, dyno tune going in and um, yeah then it should be pretty mint and we just have to paint it and shit So we got some good news and some bad news. Uh, I guess first good news, we made it here without getting pulled over, which is good. That's what I was most uh, scared of. Passed the exam. It was really easy actually. Well, it was way harder than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be piss easy, but it was actually quite complicated. Uh, but it's open book, so it took me about 40 minutes. I just had to like look at the question, figure out what section the answer was in, and then do that. And I've got most of them right, and then they're pretty chill. So yeah, past that, it's turning into a very expensive process to get this car all legal. I've spent probably almost, I don't know, how many thousand dollars in the last few weeks on this car? And then I just spent another $400 just then applying for the motorsport membership and applying for an authority card 
so that the guy here at the racing club can actually give me an authority card. And this is also, <laughs> I can go and get the green sticker removed. So yeah, it's turning out to quite a process, but I guess this gives me a really good uh, reason to actually go to some track days now, since I have to, and I'm all signed up and everything, I've done the exam and everything, I know what all the flags mean now, and I literally knew what none of the flags meant, and he's like, okay, you passed the exam, and I was like, mean. And he's like, okay, now I'm gonna ask what all the flags mean, and I didn't even think to fucking research them before. So, bad news, I am waiting for a tow truck because the brakes are completely fucked again. So we think that um, it might be the master cylinder. Basically on the way here, I left Auto Stance, which was about a half an hour drive. Brakes were fine. Uh, I was on the motorway, doing fine. And then the brake pedal just had it getting really soft and it was really dodgy. And then the, all I could smell for the last 15 minutes of the drive was just this disgusting, like burning plastic, burning rubber smell. And the brakes were smoking like, halfway here they just started smoking and it was, the whole car was like there was like smoke coming into the car and shit it was fucking crazy people were looking at me yeah so the brakes have just like they keep on seizing onto the car so i think it must be the uh the master cylinder because we just put brand new rotors and brake pads on and everything so that's the situation right now really oh also i have to get new harnesses which is another 500 dollars. so i spent a thousand dollars today on this car because the, the harnesses expired in 2012 and yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Sitting here, waiting for Chris and Dean to come pick me up, waiting for the tow truck to arrive. Um, but yeah, we're a few steps closer to getting this car back on the road. And not gonna lie, there's some cheeky few boosts on the way here before the brakes fucked out. And it's feeling good with the new tires, boys. So I'm hoping that I can get this authority card and the brakes fixed by Monday or Tuesday. It's currently Friday. Uh, it's like 6 p.m. right now. I've been working since 7 a.m. this morning. Been here for three hours. Very juicy. Rub, 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 rub. My name's Ben Chappell Law. I own an S13. And this is me. <laughs> This is how I live my life, boys. I boost it around, Nick Mana. Oh, tow truck, G. There's something wrong with the brakes. All right, so about an hour and a half later, um, the car's finally on the fucking tow truck. They showed up first with the wrong kind of tow truck, the one that just lifts your car up and drags it. Um, and it was gonna be way too low, it scraped and everything, so. Got another tow truck with a flat lay, and the same guy that towed me a few months ago when I first got the car shows up. And the first thing he says is, I was like, oh, you've towed this before, right? He's like, he doesn't even say hi, he doesn't even say, yeah, I have. He just says, have you not learned your fucking lesson yet? <laughs> $170 ticket to start off the morning boys, so it is now Sunday and we're on our way to finish off the video for Jay's Volvo uh, So we're on our way out to Flatbush now uh, Gonna get some rollers of his car and get a few more shots of it in a few different spots 
and then this afternoon me and the boys are going up to Walkworth to do some uh, FPV flying up there so it's going to be a great day. This car today, it goes very fast. It goes doo -doo -doo -doo. a few moments later. All right, so the shoot with Jay went really well. Um, as you might have seen, I probably put up some footage on the screen. Uh, yeah, super stoked with how that went. Fuck, I'm dark as fuck right now. So we're just getting ready to go to walk off now to go flying our FPV drones at the cement works. And Dean's gonna take his car up there because uh, he's selling it and he's got to get the fucking rust repaired because it's a rusty boy, eh, Dean? You're a rusty boy. From Auckland, obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just about being considerate and driving to the conditions. Fair enough. Okay. Cool. Have a good day. Love you. Cheese. I guess that's why they envy me On track, now we gon' weigh up Don't be used as easy as a layup Working late, stay up stay up. Counting all the way up Count blessings, yeah, you know we pray up Way up, pray up On track, now we gon' weigh up Now we gon' weigh, weigh up Now we going On track, now we gon' weigh up Now we gon' weigh up Now we going I got his, his band like I'm Barry Bonds Running through the money, but the money's long I don't love it, but I need to keep it coming on Only friendly, me and friends, we don't get along Oh no! Look, man down, repeat, man down Yeah, you good? Oscar, can you see fine? You smashed the fucking glass yeah. Fuck, we should hold a rave here, bro. <laughs> we sucked. Oh, damn, this is cool. Fuck, you actually could fly in here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You can fly between those things there. Fuck, that'd be sick. This would be like the best rave. Right? You can have like the DJ deck. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone just like. <laughs> Sweet, so uh, FPV flight went really well, got some, got a few nice little tricks in there. Uh, definitely just still getting a bit more confident. I kind of want to just like send it and go through some of these fucking crazy gaps up here. But um, yeah, Oscar just cracked his uh, his screen because he hit, actually pretty unlucky. He hit the tiniest little chain in this loop that I was doing a few times. This tiny little chain right here. So this massive gap. And he hits this tiny little chain hanging up. Oh no. But that shit happens, you know, at least he didn't lose his entire fucking drive. Um, but yeah, that was super fun, like this place is sick. 
I haven't actually been here before. It's up in Walkworth, just um, sort of off the main road. Um, so if you uh, fly in any FPV and you haven't been here, you should definitely check it out. There's some sick gaps. And um, just even like the trees around it and the lake and stuff, or the river, it's pretty dope. So uh, yeah, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode of the vlog because it's uh, probably getting pretty long. But in the next few days we'll be uh, fixing the brakes on the Sylvia and getting their Haltech ECU in and the Dyno Tune. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.